Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna talk about jQuery UI date picker widget. In fact let's straight away start off with a uh, browser preview. Okay now people uh, the date picker is attached to the input text field. Notice when I click inside this text field what happens. Uh, let me show that to you again. See the way it actually slides in, slides out. Okay also see the way I've actually tweaked the date picker widget uh, you can see two months together you are able to drop down the months and the years although you know the months have been restricted uh, so the years have been too and we'll see why that actually happens you see the jQuery UI date picker widget the default is a grayscale everything is just in the shade gray I've spent many many hours trying to understand how we can actually tweak it and I've given you uh, a colorful I mean I've used uh, really really mild colors really soft colors really smooth colors nothing too dramatic nothing too drastic nothing too gaudy very mild colors like azure ghost white uh, white smoke etc but I think the uh, end product is uh, soothing to the eyes right so it's not the default date picker people I've used a lot of additional optional parameters I tweaked them I spent really many hours you know uh, just for you so that so that I can give it away to you as a free code I'll give you an HTML document plus a CSS file I'll bundle uh, it up together I'll keep it available as a free download from my website uh, the URL will be http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one that's number one dot html people you can grab the html document plus the required css file from there okay uh, nevertheless I'm gonna explain the code I'm not gonna redo it all over again actually have already spent a lot of time tweaking the uh, default widget the default widget mind you people is completely in the grayscale does not have any other color apart from gray and scales you know shades of gray that's one the font size was way too big okay the Sunday used to appear like SU not SUN the Monday used to appear like MON right and there were so many things that uh, you know the date format was actually month day and year I've changed that to uh, DDMM YY so there are so many um, additional option parameters that I actually tweaked and uh, let's talk about that let's get back to the Dreamweaver document cool now that's the code is very short people that's all that is there to the code this whole code will be available free from my website as I've already told you many times okay before I talk about what's there in the head of the document which is actually a lot compared to what's there in the body of the document <coughs> excuse me let's first uh, see what exactly is there in the body of the document we have the opening and the closing body tags inside which we just have a, a pair of paragraph tags opening closing uh, which actually say date and then we have the input uh, tag with the type attribute set to text and the ID set to date picker that's actually causing the input text field to appear okay and uh, so the uh, whatever is inside the body is actually very very simple there's no need to explain this this is responsible for the input text field where you actually click and the date appears for you to select okay now you, you under, I'm sure you understand what doc type is uh, that we have to start every HTML document with the the HTML opening tag which closes out here this is the head of the document people from here to here we have the meta uh, tag out here with the care set uh, attribute the title opening closing tags go out here and then what follows people is uh, we need a CSS file the one that I've actually tweaked okay that I'm gonna bundle up uh, into my zip file that I'm gonna give it away to you I've already tweaked it okay so that is uh, a prerequisite then we need the latest jQuery jQuery 1.9.1.js okay instead of keeping it as a physical file I'm actually pulling up uh, pulling it up as a CDN content delivery network 
by the way what exactly is jQuery UI let's check that out too okay so <coughs> jQuery UI is a curated set of uh, user interface interactions effects widgets and themes built on top of the jQuery JavaScript library whether you're building a highly interactive web application or just uh, need to add a date picker to a form control that's that's exactly what we are doing jQuery UI is the perfect choice indeed people indeed right so uh, here we are pulling up the latest jQuery version 1.9.1 at the time of creating this tutorial and through another uh, opening closing script tags I'm summoning the supposedly the latest jQuery UI file but again through CDN content delivery network it's put off to a URL it's to a remote server people somewhere okay and then through the link tags I am also summoning through the CDN again uh, a style.css file now, all these three files are actually coming through CDNs people content delivery network this file is actually physically present I had to do so because I wanted to make the changes. I couldn't make changes to a file that's actually kept remotely on a diff, you know, separate server, not my own server. I had to have the physical file, so I downloaded it. I tweaked it so I can give you the effects that you just saw. Cool. Now the code, the whole magic, the uh, uh, the spine, call it whatever, of the uh, uh, of the the code is right out here between the script tags that's that's responsible for the behavior the kind of behavior that you actually see uh, you see the animation which is drop see when I actually click the date picker it kind of slides in and slides out it's this this effect is actually called uh, drop people uh, it could be replaced with fold with slide with line bounce slide down show fade in or clip so you can experiment which effect you actually like uh, you you may want a very simple effect something like a show or a fade in J just suit your uh, taste people now uh, I've also used uh, a min date and a max date out here now let me explain what this uh, parameter actually means when you specify the min date to be a minus 20 or whatever it means that through the date picker you can go back 20 days not any more than that and max date means in future how many days or months or years can you actually go I've specified that I can go one Y one year one M one month and seven days in future only I cannot pick a date which is beyond that I could have replaced the max date with just the number 20 or the number 10 too that I wouldn't need to put inside the quotation marks but when you specify in terms of years months or days you need to push it inside the quotation marks the way I've actually done okay so this is going back in the past and this is going ahead in the future you can manipulate these values people let me show you exactly that I can't go back in the past a lot see I can go back in the month of May but I can't go beyond the 30th of May that's the way because if today is the 19th so 20 days before that I cannot go beyond this I cannot select 29th of May right so you see it uh, fires to a perfection okay so that is what uh, is meant by min date max date uh, uh, additional optional parameters that you can completely skip people and then we have the change month set to true and the change year set to true I'll tell you what this actually means see I'm able to change the month from here and the you know the year from here if you don't want these months and the years changing as a drop down out here you can completely do away with these options you can just set it to false in fact let me show you if I set it to false what will happen let's say save let's refresh let's click again and see people I'm not able to see the drop down for the month or the year anymore okay let's get back let's make it true again and true again here as well right now number of months people have set to two 
I can either change it to one or three or four, whatever, right? Let me show you how actually one looks like. That's more like the standard conventional date picker people. It's just the one single current month. <coughs> Excuse me. Righto. Okay, let's change this back to two. Now, as I told you, the months, uh, the the days name, the names of the week actually used to appear like SU for Sunday, MA for Monday, TU for Tuesday. I made a change to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Sun, Mon, Chu, Wed through this additional option parameter, which is day names min. Minimum of these many letters have to appear. Right. The date format, which was uh, uh, different, which was actually uh, MMDDYY, I change it to DDMMYY. Now, if I remove one single Y from here, instead of saying 2013, it's going to say only 13, 1 and 3. But if you put the double Ys out here, it's going to say 2013. In fact, let me show it to you as well. File on the save, and uh, let me bring it up. And if I choose any date, people, you'll notice that the 2000 is missing. It just says 13 out here. Cool. That's exactly what it means. I'm gonna set it back to a double Y now. <coughs> and I've already informed you that the show NM additional option parameter can either be set to draw, fold, slide, blind, bounce, slide down, show, fade, and or clip. Okay, that's all that is there within the opening and the closing script tags, people. That's all. In fact, what I can do is I can just pass in the type attribute out here, type, and that'll be more appropriate. Text JavaScript. Okay, and uh, we've already discussed what is inside the body of the document, people. All right, so I'm gonna wind. I'm gonna terminate the tutorial out here. So people. Uh, let me sum it all up. The uh, default uh, date picker is pretty boring. Uh, it's vanilla gray scale, only shades of gray. The font size is way too big. It, everything appears way too big. Okay, I shrunk it down. I basically uh, downloaded the CSS file into a physical form, not keep it as a CDN. I tweaked it. I spent many hours trying to understand and I changed the colors. You can, you know, I've kept very mild colors people out here. You can probably choose uh, darker contrasting colors too. Okay. I've shown you how I can go back in the past and in the future, uh, you know, wade, you know, go ahead in the future, but I can restrict the range. And I've shown you how I can, uh, how I can actually do that. In case you don't want any kind of a restriction, you can completely do away with these uh, two, uh, you know, uh, uh, the min date and the max date parameters. You can completely uh, remove it. You can remove this bit completely, delete it permanently. Okay. Now, people, all these parameters, uh, min date, max date, change month, number of months, uh, day, names, min, whatever, whatever, are actually additional optional parameters. I can completely delete everything that is inside the opening and the closing parenthesis, including the curly braces, and it'll still fire. Let me show it to you. Let me cut it completely. You know, so date picker, which is the ID out here, dot date picker, parent parent, semicolon. If I were to fire this, let me show you how it'll actually appear. Refresh. The date picker will still appear people okay without these uh, extra additional optional parameters nevertheless let me get back let's say control Z to get everything back let's save it up all right so people uh, I'm gonna terminate the tutorial now letting you know once again that the HTML document which is date picker dot HTML plus the uh, additional CSS file that you need for this project to work will be bundled up together into a zipped format and will be available as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads one number one dot html you have a good day bye bye peace